streaming now. I am hitting stream. Let's see. Streaming setup. Here we go. Excellent connection, and we are live. All right. Um, live chat. And let's see. I'm just yeah. setting up the camera. Okay. We should be ready to go. Okay. Recording. Okay. Recording oh. is good. I have had zero tea this morning. Can you swap over? Yes, I can. Here you go. All right. We can't see your watercolor palette. I don't know where that went. Yeah, let me see. Oh, there you go. That's good. Cool, cool. Good. Definitely in the middle there. Oh, we have friends. Hello, um, everybody. Ishan Rock says, hello, my friend. Artsy Badbrook says, good morning. Good morning. Rima says, hello. Gail says, good morning from California. Wacky Watercolor Wednesday. How are you two doing? Such exciting news that your next big project has been greenlit. That's amazing. You've got this. Gail, You're sweet Gail, my friend, you are so extremely talented. This is Gail from California, right? That this sent you the Gail package. From Cal that is correct. You are so talented. That painting is so good. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Yeah. As in, brought me to tears. Beautiful. Um, we had As in, I don't want to paint anymore. I mean. <laughs> It was very pretty. Uh, okay, where am I? Uh, Lemon Puff says hello from Hong Kong. Hello. And Bethany's decided to change things up this morning. She says, hello, my favorite tea and crumpets. Ringers are rung and mods are here. Brandy B says good morning. Adventures with Robert the Bruce says hi, Scott. Good morning. Um, Adventures of Sad Sack says hi. Jonah's World says hello. hello. Chum Soul says good morning. Happily awaiting watercolor <laughs> Excuse me, Wednesday. I already did a little portrait of my stinker kitty and have my coffee ready to paint. Oh, I love that. Um, Arigato says hello. It's 10 here in Singapore. Ha ha. Hello. Uh, yes, Artsy Batbrook, you are correct. I have not had any tea yet this morning. I am I am caffeineless. At, at present, we will be we will be imbibing together. Hey, Steph Nerds here. Good morning, friend. Um, Sinead Moffat says hello. hello. Hi, Scott. Love from India. Hello. Anbi says hi. Saina B says hi. Love your art. Good morning. Isabel, hello from Brazil. Jonas World says I much prefer to use colored pencils. Ah, Gail says, oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I'm so honored. Well, we are honored to now have a piece of your art. Hey, Ryan's here. Ryan says, good morning, Scott, Donna, and friends. Good morning, Ryan. Oh, Anne-Marie says, good morning, friends. All my love to you. Oh, hello, Anne-Marie. How you doing, Anne-Marie? How you doing, Steph nerd? Long time no chat. Lemon Puff, I'm supposed to study right now, but a little live won't hurt. <laughs> morning from Czechia. Chechnya? Or... No, it doesn't. It says Czechia. Um, I'm Abdul Abdul Hadi from Pakistan. Hello. Simply Peachy says good morning. Love from India. Finally caught a stream. Hello, Scott. Your tips for body structure helps me a lot. Thanks. That's Shreya's. Oh, that's good to know. Long time no live. Do you enjoy your new work? Um, I do. I do. We haven't begun production yet, but it's been a lot of uh, pre-production. So um, much email. Yeah, we'll be announcing something in the second week of May. Yes. And that's when I'll be able to talk about it more. But yeah. for now, it is just a lot of meetings. Email. And emails. So much and... Email. The like. Yeah. All of the uh, back end, not fun, not sexy stuff, <laughs> but necessary. Yeah. Hello from Indiana, Indianapolis. Hello from Puerto Rico. Hello, Hello from Kuwait. 
Audrey says hi, Scott and Donna. Hello, Audrey. Um, I'm from Malaysia. Hello. Hello from Canada. I'm excited to watch this while I work on a new watercolor swatch chart. Yay. Oh, that's great. Oliver says hi from Finland. Hi from the UAE. Please do more live chats. I love your lives. I follow them a lot. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry. We, we were out of town for a couple days or, you know, four days. And so yeah. we missed... Um, we missed Friday and Monday. Friday and Monday. Yeah. It was a very last minute thing, but it was for one of our children. So we went. Hello from Canada. Hello from India. Hello from Poland. Hello. Hey, mate, how have you been? Been good, thank you. Do you prefer colored pencils or watercolors? Watercolors. I did colored pencils for so long, and I think I just kind of peaked with watercolor, with uh, colored pencils. And so I, <clears throat> I just feel like um, watercolors is so much better. I actually made a video on why I stopped doing colored pencils and move to watercolors you did indeed you did indeed hi from scotland hi from greece hi from finland hi from hello, India. hello hello Pakistan. and stefan says i'm better that cold really hit me yeah you know i think um since we haven't been sick in so long i think when you do get sick when you do get a cold or something man it just kicks your behind i don't know if i like this little thing here Jonah's World says, mind if I share my art adventures? No, we'd love that. Please do. Mm, you can see. you can do it uh, on your own channel and tag mm -hmm. me, or you can put it on the Discord. Or mm -hmm. If you do tag us on social media, just make sure you do definitely tag us. Otherwise, we won't see it. Where can I get those tips on the body structure? I needed it. Um... I think it was a video about um, the how to draw comics the Marvel way and the is it, check the art hacks playlist. Yeah, probably the art hacks playlist mm -hmm. would be a good place to start. Um, Aries says I need to start doing a new project today, so right now is a good time. Oh, that's great. Can you do a tutorial on drawing mountains in watercolor? Drawing mountains. Um, I could look into it. Not something I do very often, but um, I could look into it. Um, let's see. All right. So I looked up, because this, this is an Indian woman. I looked up the difference between um, uh, putting the nose ring on the left side or the right side. And apparently the northern, northern Indian women will do the left side and southern indian women will do the right side oh i didn't know that's that. according to the the google my google search so can somebody tell me yeah um, let us know if that's correct is it a regional thing mm, let's see sounds like a drag paperwork is a pain in the butt the paperwork for all of the things is always a pain the actual production and stuff like that is production's fun so fun so, so, so fun. But um, yeah, well, you got to get through the, you know, it's like anything else. You got to get through. It's like when you read a book and it starts out really, really slow, but you get about a third of the way in and you're hooked. That's what it's like. Yeah. I'm not thrilled with her eyes. Let me see what I can do. Um, you can use mine. Blink, blink. No? Okay. I just finished The Hobbit, says ZB Art. It is so good. Yeah. Isn't it my favorite book? Yeah, Stefner says, yep, haven't gotten a cold in about five years, so being down for a week while annoying wasn't that bad. Yeah. It's, I think it's just, that's the way it is now. You know, I think they're just going to be, be uh, tougher to get over. Please try more digital art. I, I, I will try. It's, it's, uh... <clears throat> oh, Sana says, you're absolutely correct. It is a true fact. A lot of difference between South and North Indian people. Okay, good, good. 
Um, well, I don't know if see. I want her looking that way. Let's see if if maybe it's just where she's looking that's bothering me. What if she's looking towards us? Oh, wait. Do I see an Ellen? Is Ellen here? Somebody said fiber and brimstone. I think we have an Ellen. <clears throat> I think we do. Good morning, Ellen. How are you today, friend? I hope you are having a good morning and a nice big cup of coffee. Um, Applebee says, just got here. So happy you're doing an Indian woman. Boba Bean says, I'm so happy to be in this live. I have a presentation shortly and I'm very nervous, but being here makes me calm. Oh, <laughs> you're going to do you. wonderfully. Um, what do yep, you think? I think definitely she needed to look at us. What I do you think, think about Ibis was. paint? I don't know what that is. What? Ibis paint. I, yeah, I've never heard of Ibis paint. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, hello from South Africa. Hello. Um, Kayla says, hey, I'm having a really horrible day. That's beyond an understatement. So a hello from you guys would brighten my day. Hello. I'm sorry, We're Kayla. We're sending you big hugs from the Hobbit yeah. hole. Yeah. I hope, I hope you have a, good, a better day. I hope it turns around for you. What is your favorite thing to draw? Hair. Hi from Ireland. The sketch is looking nice. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, maybe one of the mods could put the link to the Discord in, but you guys won't get into the Discord till after the live, um, because we close that down while we're live. Um, let's see. Um, Shriyashi says I wear it in the right, and I'm North Indian. Oh, really? Okay, so let's see. Um, do you make portraits from real life? Uh, yes, I do. Mm. Uni. Scott has so many tutorials on hair and wavy hair. Absolutely. Go to the Art Hacks playlist and do, look up hair. Can you do studying the masters again? Please, I have been doing the paintings because of you. Oh, uh, I want Vilco. to. We talked about that a lot and yeah. how much we loved doing the 60 days of studying the masters it was we had so much fun um it was not um the videos just didn't do well yeah and maybe the problem is when i do the 60 days of studying the masters nobody it, sees it yeah nobody sees it and mm -hmm. the people who do see it really like it but you yeah. know we're really really struggling with that because um hold on i'm going to change out pens we love it yeah, we have such a good time with that. It's it's so much fun to research the people and the artists and to learn a little bit about their background and it's yeah. just it's it's so much fun. Yeah, I mean, I I would, I, I the the thing that we're currently dealing with is um, okay, hold on, what did I just do? This is the I have no idea. You took a piece of tape off. And this is the old one. You get to watch this in real time, guys. And this is the new one. This is how I know which one's the fresh one with the sharp point. Yeah. It so, is okay. but it yeah. is sunny and cold here today. Sorry, I really ahead. want to do um, more of them. And what we need to do is I think we need to find a sponsor or somebody who'd, who'd be willing to... Uh, help us with something like that because if I was to do another series like that um, YouTube would just abandon me I think I don't know why they don't like it I don't know they don't uh... TikTok too like like yeah. the algor it's it's for some reason the algorithms just don't seem to like yeah. them and and so it doesn't if I do seen. 60 days of that then mm -hmm. that's two months of like very few views mm -hmm. and um, and you know, yeah, maybe maybe when the when when uh, our TV series goes into full production, you know, maybe I'll do it then. That way, it's it's not like okay, we need the money or anything like that. <clears throat> Let's see. Um... Ryan says, I found out the other day that the Vancouver Zoo celebrated the birth of two new red pandas. Oh, I will have to check that out. Oh my goodness gracious. Mary's dealing with a lot of anxiety this morning. 
Lots of changes happening in life right now. So glad to see you were streaming. I have it on next to me as I work. It's like Aww. having friends here with me. Oh, wow. Mary. Well, we're sending you virtual hugs. Yeah. You know what? There's a lot of stuff that's anxiety producing lately, and I can speak from personal experience with that. Um, and we're here. I, I wish I could give you a big hug and hold your hand. I do, because I, I feel it so much. Um, boy, do I feel that. Um, Scott is using a zebra brush pen right now. I just changed it out yep. to a brand new one. It's mm, nice and fresh. Indeed. Do either of you have a favorite flower? Donna does. I don't. Carnations are my favorite flower. Everybody usually laughs at me, but they're my favorite. Um, what's your favorite art medium? Um, I think the watercolors that I'm doing right now. Um... How do you change pressure in Ibis Paint? Oh, is it a computer program? That, I, I don't know. I would assume changing pressure is just pushing down on the pen that you're using or the thing that you're using. It's a digital art app, yeah. Is Ibis Paint more like, sounds like Microsoft Paint, Ibis um, Paint? We are a tea household, not a coffee household. Although I will tell you, depends on the day, if I am really exhausted, I will crack out with some coffee. Um, oh, it's an online drawing platform. Um, let's see. Helen says it's a slow start, still gotta make coffee, but happy to have the stream to get me going. Oh boy, friend, come on, get that caffeine rolling. I am on my first cup. Simply Peachy says, hey, Scott, I love your work, and I'm striving towards getting better at art. I'm just broke, LOL. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. You don't need to have any money to be... Artists are always broke. That's a, that's our lot in life. I can attest to that. So just just make art. Just draw. Um, how do you get the proportion so good? Oh, I, I always use reference. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Hello from Pennsylvania. Good to see you did Game of Thrones drawings this week. Well, it's an old one. Um, and I've never seen Game of Thrones, but uh, it was a... Uh... Okay, Zoya's Kingdom says, How to fix severe art block? I watched your video about art block, but I still don't understand. Well, really the... the the simplest explanation I could say is you just need to get yourself out and drawing. So whether it's a draw everything every day kind of situation where you're just drawing something every day or you go to a museum and you get inspired, but um, or, or you, you just do a, um, a themed sketchbook. Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, whatever, and, and you just fill it up every day. That's how you get better. That's how you get through art block. Yeah. Okay, Arwen is <clears throat> sitting behind me. Yeah, she's Making whining. all sorts of noises. Yeah, so that's what you hear. So, yeah. We will get her out in a little bit. Um, Shreya is finally starting to write comics again. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Which is great. You inspired me. Thanks. Um, I love being here. It makes me happy. Cosmic Phoenix, you're funny. Um, I'm about to start working on a colored pencil drawing, and I'm so excited for the finished product. You've inspired me. Oh, that's wonderful. How do you draw in a style like the late Kim Jung Ji? Oh, gosh. Lots of practice. Um, could you add some rain? Also, I, I also have a nose piercing, and I'm 10. We get it pretty early. Oh, that's great. Um, I'm so happy to see your stream. I haven't had a good day and I'm trying to do some painting whilst I watch this. Oh, I hope your day gets better. Hang out with us and just chill for a while. That, that should help. It seems to have been a very stressful week for a lot yeah, of people. And yeah, well, I feel that. There's a lot going on in the world too. I think that's, I think that does affect people as well. I think there's, if we could just put it away for a while yeah that would be helpful but uh 
That is very hard to do. Um, can you give a tutorial on glasses? Love your art. Didn't we do... Not a, tu a tutorial on glasses, no. Um, I thought um, I could have sworn you did something in the I've art drawn house. glasses a lot. I just haven't yeah, but done it. Yeah, it's like a... Yeah, okay. All right. I'll add that to the list. Tutorial on drawing glasses. I will add that to the list. I'm adding it to the list. Got to have it written in a while. My fingers are fumbling with the pen. I am fumbling with the pen. Um, how do you get the watercolors so detailed? Whenever I do it, it kind of just mixes or spreads or mixes with the ink. Oh, yeah. That's um, Addison. So... What I do is if you if you look, I'm doing my detail now with the uh, with the pen, and then I will come in later with the uh, with the watercolor. So I'm not I'm the not. Super fresh ten is waterproof. Remember. Yeah, I'm not uh, trying to make the details with the uh, with the watercolors. And yeah, my pen, the zebra brush pen, is waterproof. So I don't have to worry about uh, it bleeding. So that's that's why you're getting bleeding is your pen is just not waterproof. Mm -hmm. um, but but also I will dry the paint between each layer so that way they don't blend together too. Mm -hmm. So you you'll see that as I as I get to the watercolors, which will be in about maybe ten minutes or ten fifteen minutes. I don't think I've the inking is going to be too much though. I might have a little bit more fun with the hair we'll see mm -hmm. robin says hi from ireland also do you watch anime and what's your favorite show um well hello uh no i don't really watch anime anymore i did back in the 90s i watched dragon ball z but not anymore um i watched well, let's see the studying the master series is what brought me to your channel Ugh. yeah we, we really loved that series we really loved doing that it was so much fun it just never, nobody ever sees it. Um, Aries, I watched your video about autism. I really love them. I am a person that has autism and it makes me feel better. I have anxiety every time I leave my state, but I um, love leaving my house. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I, I'm glad it helps. It, it was it was a very rough trip for me. Um, and um, A lot of them are rough. Yeah, and I just wanted to kind of share that. Hi, Erica's here and says, good morning, you beautiful people. Happy to see you. Big hugs all around. Good morning, Erica. How are you? I loved that um, that tree, that, that string art that you did. I thought that was lovely. Um, Zoya's Kingdom says, hi, Scott and Donna. How are you both? I hope you're doing amazing, and I wanted to ask what I should draw. Oh, well, you know what Donna always says. I, I really think you need to draw a red panda. That's my personal opinion. I remember the first zebra brush pen I have is from my school. I stole it unintentionally. Uh, <laughs> Does she have earrings, the painting? Yes. Yeah, that's an earring. Oh, Talena's version says, ah, this is so pretty. My grandma um, used to kind of look like this back in the day. Oh. We were just talking about this last night because I feel like I'm getting old and I feel like I just... I don't look like I did when I was younger, which, I mean, obviously I'm 53, right? I'm not going to look like I'm 18. But, um, man, yeah. It's a wild ride, people. Getting old is a wild ride. Um, I'm going to butcher this name, but I'm going to try anyway. Uh, um, Achiu Tanada says, Hi, Scott, one of your biggest fans. Oh, hello. Oh, Kim's nice here. Water plus ink. Says good oh, morning. Hey, how you how doing? How you feeling, friend? How you doing? How's everything going? Tell us a story. I hope you're doing well. Hi from South Africa. I think three people are from South Africa sending love. Oh, hello. Another place I'd like to visit. Hey, Scott, I like your paintings. You inspired me um, to have a few videos of my drawings on the channel. Can oh, that's you please great. rate them? I don't know if they, he'd rate them, but we'll go. Did you I'll tag rate us? Them. I'll rate them all 10 out of 10. Yeah. Did you tag us on the channel so we can see it? Let me see. Um, and is it here on YouTube? Um, let's see. I have a heck of a time finding people on um, YouTube. 
Yeah. They make they don't make it easy to find people. Um, Mary says dealing with a lot of anxiety this morning. Um, oh, I think I read that one. I did read that one. A TV series. I don't know what you're asking. I want to be a comic artist when I grow up, and I know you used to do some. Any tips? Um. Yeah. Uh, watch movies. Learn how to um, direct. Your director. Your your cinematographer. Um, think of your storytelling like that. I when I did and when I did my comics, my panels were like um, every time you would cut um, from shot to shot. So that's how I would look at it was like from animation. You have that animation experience. Yeah, but I mean, oh. comics and cinematography go hand in hand really well like that. Kim says, I've ordered some extra paints from the place I get my paints. I'm putting together a palette for Scott. You're oh. so sweet. Can you give me any tips to draw poses? I find it difficult to draw them. I've always loved your videos and found you through your one hour sketchbook series. Oh, that's great. Um, I would say uh, check out the book, How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. It's really good for kind of seeing dynamic posing and everything. How about doing a flower drawing series that includes weeds, invasive species? Because I think they're absolutely beautiful and underrated since people don't usually notice them. Um, that is boba bean. I will definitely consider that. Studying how to use watercolor led me here, and I've gotten so much better. Oh, that's, that's great. Our mystic soul. We are not still doing the National Animals series, but those are all in a playlist. You can take a look at all of those there. We're kicking around what the next thing is going to be um, and how that's all going to kind of fit in with um, Scott's work schedule. So that's another thing that we have to account for is um his work schedule time and how that's all gonna shake down um let's see <clears throat> do we have a santa in the chat <laughs> we do and santa says welcome back friends hey santa how are you santa how's mrs claus and how are the elves doing we are back. We are up. We are not necessarily Adam, but we're up. So it is. I, guys, I never, I, I try not to sleep in and I slept in this morning. I slept until like eight, which is ridiculous. Um, it's crazy. Oh, Kim started a journal like Scott's travel journal. I've almost completed my first spread. Oh, Kim, show us. We oh, want to see great. it. I love that. You go to the coolest places. Um, Haley Angel sent you a tip and said, oh, I started you. doing a sketchbook on things I love. My first page was about Sly Cooper, which is my favorite game. What's your favorite game? Um, Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I'm looking forward to the sequel. Isn't that due out soon? Oh, Emma's here. Yeah, I think like next month. That's right. It was supposed to be out in May? No. It was supposed to be out two years April? ago, but yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. We have greetings from the Netherlands. We have love from Mexico. Oh, Eric, I love everything that you do. You do beautiful things. Let's see. How have you been? We've been good, thank you. Well, Scott's been good. I've been struggling, but Scott's been good. How many values do you like to work with? I find that for portraits, four to five values is best for me. I'm obsessed with sergeant portraits. Oh gosh, that is such a good person to study. Um, yeah, I, I don't count my values. Uh, I just kind of eyeball everything. So um, I don't know. Oh, Kim got cleared to drive again. Oh, that's good news. That's good news. Yes, Scott has done animation and we do have a Discord. Um, he did animation in the past. He's done just so many There's things. a video on some yeah. of my past animation. Yeah. Um, maybe the mods could put in the link to the Discord. Um, we'll let you guys in um, after the live. 
Um, Amy something says, Donna, I'm going to draw and paint a red panda. I'm transferring the sketch as we speak. Much love from the Netherlands. Oh, uh, that's great. Please tag me. I want to see it. I'm so excited. Um, oh, Flippy Floppy says, hi, guys. I've been having a really rough few weeks, but I'm glad to have caught your stream today. Always a good way to start the day. Oh, we're glad you came. Yeah, we're and happy we hope that, here. that just hanging out with us helps a little bit. Yeah. You know, I I really think it's been tough for a lot of people lately, and it's just nice. And when we went out of town, I had a really hard time traveling this time around. Um, Scott did so much better, um, and I was the one that had a hard time. I think we're all going through some stuff, and I think we all just need to be kind to ourselves, guys. I really think we do. Um, oh, Melissa's here. Morning, friends. This is looking beautiful. Love the flow. Oh, thank you. Um, Caitlin used your watercolor tutorial on YouTube Shorts, and you don't know how much it helped me. You're one of the best artists I know. Thank you very much. Any tips for a broke artist and an 11-year-old that can't obtain any money? LOL. Oh, totally. There is a video on it. Um, it is uh, making art shouldn't make you broke. And basically, mm -hmm. it is you just need to draw. You don't need to worry about paint. You don't need to, you're not trying to make a masterpiece. Just fill up sketchbooks. Look at that and also mm -hmm. look at draw everything every day. Um, Boba Bean says, everyone who is or has been stressed and anxious this week, I'm sending you virtual hugs and I wish you all the best for the future. Drink some water and take deep breaths. That's very nice Boba of you, Boba Bean, you're Bean. a sweetheart. Just a sweetheart. Um... Let's see. Mirak says, hello, Scott. Love from Mexico. Hello. Scott has tried a glass dip pen. Not his favorite. I love them. Um, could you please do a video on coffee art? I don't think you're interested in that. I don't even like the smell of coffee. He really doesn't. Blech. Yeah, he doesn't. Um, smells like regret. Uh, you know what smells with, like regret? Mm. Me in the morning when I don't have my tea. What is your favorite movie, Scott? Princess Bride. Oh, May says, as an Indian woman, I 100% approve. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Have you done any work from The Princess Bride? Oh, so much work from The Princess Bride. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. God. There's, um, if you look under the um, cutout animations playlist, or maybe it's cutout watercolors playlist, but look that up. There's a few. Um... If you were to do another series, I have a suggestion drawing mythical creatures. That's Question Studio. Mythical creatures? No, mythical creatures. Oh, mythical creatures. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. Um, why didn't you guys live stream on Friday and Monday? Dalton oh, would like to know. We were out of town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to write a novel with drawing. It's called Nightmare in Wonderland. Should I risk it and write it? Yeah. Of course. Nothing bad happens from trying to do something like that. Absolutely not. You know, it yeah. is always just a great experience and no one may ever read it. You don't know, but it's it's so much fun to do. Write it for yourself. Yeah. And you'll learn a lot and you never know. Like I wrote stuff a long time ago, like Animal Crackers. Mm -hmm. I wrote that for my kids. Oh gosh, and then so it became many a movie. Ago. Yeah, you just you you don't know. Yeah, but nothing will happen if you never do it. Yeah, just give it a whirl. You it. No one has to see it. Oh, Lula's here. Good morning from the frozen Southwest. I hope oh. all you lovely folks are having a beautiful Wednesday. Well, we're not frozen, but it's cold here too. Hello from Glasgow. Good to see you. Hello. How well does watercolor paper work for acrylic paint? Um, it did okay. Uh, I, I, if you're going to use watercolor paper, um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 acrylic. the good thing about acrylic paint is it'll go on pretty much anything. Oliver, there's a art hack, um, or there's a review, I think, of watercolor pencils. Um, if you check that out, that might help you. Um, they want 60 days of drawing national flowers. Um, let's see. I chopped my hair because of the weather being hot. I have done that. I love that idea. Chop the hair. I always put mine up. Um, yeah, the gray-eyed artist, I feel you. They slept really hard this morning, too. 
What is the most obscure or unusual art medium you have ever used? Hmm. Hmm. Scratchboard, maybe? Hmm. Any tips for the Blight Ganons in Zelda? Oh, God. Um, run. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Butter book watched your hair journal and it really inspired me to start my own sketchbook on my own custom characters. Oh, that's wonderful. Yay. Have you ever drawn the Zelda characters? I've drawn Princess Zelda once kind of more and I think she's up for sale uh on on our site. I don't uh, know. the painting. How do you have so much motivation? I can't even write one chapter in one day. Um, you know, the thing is is if you're struggling to write uh, what I found the reason why is because you haven't plotted out the whole story. You're trying to do it on the fly. So the 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 thing that you got to do, what we do when we're making, uh, when we're writing screenplays, is you want to outline the entire thing from beginning to you, you want to make sure you know what your characters' arcs are. Get all of that just bullet points. Make sure that you've answered all of those questions so that way you know that this is what happens next, this is what happens next, this, you know everything that's going to happen. Honey, yeah. What's a character arc? Who your character is at the beginning of the movie, who your character is at the end of the movie, what changes do they, you know, uh, have. Uh, but the thing is, is that by the end, by the time you're done with the outline, the rest of it's just sitting down and you're just describing stuff and you're doing the dialogue and it's so much quicker. Try, to, try an outline. It'll, it'll change your life. There are some really, really wonderful comic book writers who gave Scott that advice years, 20 plus years ago. And he's been using it ever since. Yeah. Your thoughts on non-photo blue pencils and the red pencils used for animation? They've never worked for me. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand the whole non-photo blue because I take a picture and I could still see them. And they scan in everything, so... I will tell you a funny side story on red pencils. So, when we were doing Animal Crackers, mm -hmm. we got to go watch Bear McCreary do the score um, for the movie. You mean, do not the score, do the... the uh, recording the score. Recording the... Orchestrate. Yes, orchestra. the orchestra. Because when you say doing the score, you mean like so, I was thinking. No, no, no. So, so he gave us these beautiful um, books that had all the music sheets in them. Now, I do not read music. However, I, for some, I don't know why they do this, and maybe a musician would know, but he had red pencils, and they would write in between like places where there needed to be changes, places where he had moved things around and stuff like that. So to this day, every time I look at a red pencil, like it's a, it was a red pencil with an eraser on the end of it. And every time I look at a red pencil like you that. You think of bear? I think of bear. Oh, that's I do. Cute. Every time. Yeah. Um, how did we meet each other? When did you meet each other? We met about 35 years ago. 1987. No. 88. 88. 1988. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, 88. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so at, a many years at a department ago. store called Emporium in Which San Jose. Is no longer in. Yeah. In, and uh, I was yeah. working in fashion jewelry, and Donna's first day at work was mm -hmm. in handbags. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. uh, and that's how we met. Oh, Kim's first spread was the trip to the gallery in Miramar. And they went to the aquarium that weekend. So those are the two things in the first spread. Ah, That's love great. it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, have either of you heard of the Era Pachi in Rome? I have to paint it for a classical civilization homework and I'm a little stumped. No, I, I have not. No, but Google is your friend. Um, yeah, I've never heard of that. Um, have you done anything on the movie Ready Player One? I have not. Let's see. Okay, I don't want the hair to be this dark the whole way, so I'm going to have to start slowly transition. Have you used a kneaded eraser before? Oh, yeah, it's what I mainly use. Are you using one now? No, right now I'm using a pen, but I will use a kneaded eraser here. I'll put it there. As soon as he's done doing that. 
Um, Astute said, yo, Scott and Donna, I live in the UK and just got back from my great grandmother's funeral. It was a good funeral. I saw so many family members that I didn't even know. LOL. Just nice to see your stream. Oh, well, we're well, sorry for your loss, yeah, but we're, we're happy that the funeral, funeral was, yeah. was good. Yeah. was good. got to, got to see people. You have a dog, Donna. I have a dog. I have a dog by the door. Hold on a second. And she doesn't have our oh. squirrel head in her mouth. Well, that's a plus. She, um... Yeah, she's been eating dead animals. Don't, don't even ask me why people have no idea. She's mad at me because I had to go away. Hi, Poodle. Hi, Pumpkin Poodle. Would you like to go up the stairs? What would you like to do? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I know. It's so hard being so cute, isn't it? We have the same problem. So I'm, I'm going to start lowering the amount of darks what does that mean so that way i can transition into um more color for the hair Okay. <laughs> Little Frog says, yes, as a musician, we do, in fact, mark our scores. It was just so cool. Like, I look at those red pencils. It just cracks me up. Um, please tell um, um, N8 Vids what kind of pen you're using. This is a, a zebra brush pen. It is waterproof, so I could do all of my inking now. And then come in with the watercolors later. Bella Macare says, as a beginner, I love sketching portraits, but it's always this, um, it, I always struggle um, to draw the hair. Do you have any tips on where to start? Um, I, I, when I'm doing hair like this, I'm thinking of like ribbons. Um, but uh, otherwise I would start with looking at a photo and studying hair. And plus I have several videos on hair for inspiration if that helps. Okay, um, I'm just going to do a shout out to our wonderful mods because um, I am so far, my brain is just so far out of whack today and they are just boom, boom, boom. They are answering all of the questions and handling all this and I just love you guys so much. And I'm we so missed you all. I am so grateful for you guys. <laughs> you don't even know. I'm just so grateful and uh, um, I'll try to catch up. Um, yes, Donna's favorite animal is a red panda. Scott always plays with his kneaded eraser. Um, yeah, bringing gifts for the humans. Yeah, I don't need any dead animal gifts. Um, we have a rescue puppy. She is supposedly a beagle and a Jack Russell. That's what she looks like. She's the daughter I didn't have. Watching you draw is so satisfying. 60 days of superheroes. <laughs> that could be good. That would be fun. Um, we do have a blick in the chat. We think, Blick says, we think non-photo blue used to work pretty well for photo stats, which nobody here probably remembers, yeah. <laughs> and kind of worked on Xerox copies. Um, I am old enough to remember that. So, uh, Blick, I have a question for you. Uh-oh. Look out below. Now you're here. Look out below. I went on to Blick today to pick up. I, I had purchased this, I don't know, maybe a year ago, and I used it all up. And I went on and he didn't have any more left. <gasps> None. <gasps> and and so I don't know, did, did the company discontinue? Do you guys just not have any in stock? But I, I really, like, I, I ran out. This is my, because I cut it in half, but this is my second to last piece of my arches paper. Um, but I actually liked this one a little better because it wasn't as rough. Because arches is really, really a... Even the smooth one, the, the the fine grain is still a little bit too textured for me. But I really like this, but I'd love to get some more. So let me know if you got if it if it was a company thing. I know it's only twelve sheets, but uh, I'd like to order um, some. Blick Art Supplies, Pluviophile. They are a art supply company. They have stores across the U.S. and they sell art supplies online and they have joined us in the chat 
on numerous occasions and they answer questions about our art supplies. And it's where I get yeah. all of my art supplies. Yeah. Um, and I love there. And I, I still need to one day we need to go out to Los Angeles or and go to one of the, the stores. There's one in Atlanta, too. <laughs> they missed us, too. Hmm. All right. Let's I think see. we're done with that. Time for the needed eraser. Um, I may it may be time for me to get a new one. Um, Achi Tanada, if there's we've reviewed lots and lots of art supplies and there have been some cheaper watercolors in there um also there's a grabby watercolor set that we um put together with them and that is a complete set with everything in it and that's a 25 dollars set so check check out the videos of um and the resources section of our website check out the videos of stuff that we've tried and of course you know by we i mean scott not me um, we cannot show you the room um, because uh, the camera is mounted on a um, tripod, so it doesn't move very well. But you can see the Hobbit Hole in the Hobbit Hole video that's on the website. On the channel. Yeah, I'm sorry, on the channel. <sighs> Told you my brain was not working. Um, you have tried Copic markers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're the same as any other marker. I didn't see them as being yeah. any better. Um I liked uh, the uh, Artex and the Ohuhus mm -hmm. just as much. Sarah Wilson um, sent you a tip and then oh, said, thank you. color suggestions, maybe give her dark skin because there's lots of colorism in India and maybe make her hair the colors of the Indian flag. Oh, I, I definitely am going to do the darker skin. I don't know if I'm going to do, what are the colors of the Indian flag? I have no idea. But I can look it up. But I was gonna, I was gonna do more of a Payne's gray hair. Let's see. Um, but I think red is a popular color in India, isn't it? Red and purple, or. Oh God. Okay. Um, there are some people have some funny names. Here. Um, can you draw Downton Abbey? Scott has drawn numerous things oh, from God, Downton Abbey. Oh, God, lots of Downton Abbey. Um, if you go to my Deviant Art page, you'll see a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Do you... Um, oh, Kim says, try Fabriano Hot Press. It's awesome paper. All right. That's good to know. I didn't know Fabriano made hot press. I have some notebooks from them. Um, their paper is wonderful. Fabriano hot press paper. I am writing that down as we speak. I seriously cannot write today. My hands are not working. How do you put the perfect amount of black in the hair? Oh, I don't know. If I ever do, I'll I'll definitely write do a tutorial for it. Yeah, but... the, guys, the there's no perfect in art. It just is what it is. And there's definitely no perfect in my art. Um, uh, well, I, I, William Draw says, I love your art so much with like about oh, a bazillion exclamation points. Thank you. Um, this is the first time I've gotten to join your live and I love you so much. That's Taryn. Thank you. Could you paint the clothes red? It looks so good on Indian skin. Okay. And here she comes back down again. Yeah. Come over here. Come here. Come over here, babe. I know. Arwen missed mom. Yeah. That was the longest five minutes of my life. <laughs> Blow dryer. We're having a moment. red and gold as they're very important colors okay Annika says I haven't been on your lives in a while could you give advice about becoming an influencer I'm trying to become an art influencer oh, oh um I would say find find what stories you want to tell 
and where you're going to fit in the world. Um, that's really what I've been working on is um, I realize there are a lot of people who are really good at teaching about art. That is not my thing. So um, I decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to encourage people. And so that's really what you're looking for is you're trying to find your calling. Okay, if you're going to do something, what, what can you do that fits your personality, that fits your, your, your talents? And for me, I think it's just encouragement. So if you are like really good at drawing, then maybe start working on how you're going to talk about drawing. Um, maybe you're really good at digital or you're really good at... So you got to find that thing that that is your thing mm -hmm. and then build your audience from there. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, do you have any good sketchbooks to bring around? Uh, well, for watercolor, my favorite sketchbook is by Be Creative. Mm -hmm. um, Which are hard to find. Yeah. But otherwise, <laughs> I, I like, you know, like the Strathmore tanned sketchbooks. Santa says, I found my calling eating cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and I know of no one better than that, save maybe Cookie Monster. That That is correct. That is correct. I thought your calling was making people smile and making people happy. You're very, very good at that, my friend. Are you excited about Breath of the Wild's sequel? Some I am. New gameplay was showcased yesterday. Ooh. I haven't seen it. I'm not going to look at it. I just want to enjoy it when it comes out. Blow dryer. Okay, Blick writes, we think Donna should do some videos about traditional correspondence, materials, and stationery. People are forgetting how nice it is to get a card or letter on good paper. Aww. That is a wonderful idea. Thank you. And I will do that. You know, it's it's funny. I was um, I received a letter in the mail um, about a week ago, and it was just a sweet little card. Um, and it really is wonderful to get mail like that. It really is. So I will definitely do that. Thank you for that suggestion. Um, can you draw some of these with gouache? Mistletoe would like you to do that. Um, I love gouache and I have done hundreds and hundreds of paintings in gouache. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, I did do some, some gouache paintings recently. You can see some videos on I did like uh, some Better Call Saul. Uh, characters and and whatnot I just um, I can't finish a whole gouache painting during a live and yeah, so I go back much. to uh, watercolors because it's just it's quicker okay so we have some really good stuff that we're gonna try um, this week we have the um, Utrecht watercolors from Blick. We have um, a couple of pencil sharpeners that we're going to be trying this week because um, we have those on deck on our on our video list of things to do. Um, and then we've got another video um, about conservation that's actually pretty exciting. So um, we will do um, some more of those um, fun things coming up this week. And we're going to the zoo today to go meet oh, God, we're a, going a to clouded the zoo today. leopard. I know. I'm super excited because they're on a species survival plan as well, which yeah. is great. Low dryer.
Um, okay, so let's blow through a couple of questions. Um, no, Scott has never burned the paper because the hairdryer was too hot. Um, green and orange are, they're saying, are colors of the Indian flag if you wanted to do that. Do you have an opinion on Strathmore watercolor paper or Strathmore paper in general? I am not a fan. I love Strathmore for the for the drawing papers. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've i tried, I, ha I have a whole bunch of Strathmore paper. He does indeed. And it's just, it, it just doesn't, doesn't really hold up. Um, I, I just tried it recently again and like, Strathmore and I are mutuals on TikTok, mm -hmm. and and I had to say I didn't like the paper. Mm -hmm. So um, I, Let's you know, I, I prefer Canson for the cheaper paper. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, Strathmore watercolor paper just has not thrilled me. To the best of my knowledge, you've never made a stamp, correct? Um, no. Commissions are closed right now because Scott's got those other projects that he's working on, the work projects, and those take a lot of time. Um, are you using the etched? Etcher? The, I'm sorry, etcher uh, paintbrushes right now? Yeah. Okay. Um, gosh, we have only visited a handful of countries, um, and Stefnerd listed them there for you guys. Um, what do we like about India? What do I like about India? I love I, the we've colors. never been there, but um... yeah, but I love the colors. I think the colors, and I like the history. I would love to go and learn more about the history of your country. I think that was, in my opinion, I think that would be phenomenal. I would really like to see that. Yeah. Um, I'd also like. We had these friends when the boys were really little. Haven't been friends in a long, long, long time you know, kids just drift apart, but, um, the, um, they were from India and, um, we went over to their house at one afternoon and while the boys played, the mom made, um, chai for me, like traditionally, like in, in a saucepan on the stove with milk and cloves and all the things. And I was just completely smitten. So I would love to go and, um, try all sorts of different, um, drinks and cuisine and, and everything else um why do you blow dry the colors with the blow dryer please tell me okay so if you remember i did the first pass of windsor orange and that's that color right there then i did a second pass so now it's darker so i blow dry in between so that way they don't blend together and you kind of get these nice lines and then this is windsor or this is a uh, rose matter my pink and then i'll do another pass of that and then <laughs> so i like to see these lines, um, it's it, it to me. It feels like kind of like like paper cutouts, and and I like to do that. That's just how I like to um, do my watercolors, where they don't blend together. Uh, I like to see clear cut layers, but you don't have to do that. Does art have to tell a story? Yes, that is the rule. It <laughs> must now. There's no. There's there's no rules. All you got to do is just make art because it makes you happy. Um, it doesn't have to tell a story. I don't think my art tells a story. Pranav says, "Just come to India already. We'll be welcoming." I know. <laughs> well, we were we were just we were just two thousand miles away in California, and if you guys saw yesterday's video. Mm just had a miserable time and it was, it was a rough trip and i i'm i need to figure out how to deal with all of the sensory issues and and everything and so once i do i'll be able to make it out to some place like india but i definitely that's wouldn't want to make the us. trip yeah yeah and then and then be miserable mm -hmm. that's that's a long way to go to not be happy so i i need to learn how to how to how to make this work you know i'm so happy in the hobbit hole and and i want to go see the world i want to try you know to to get out there but um even even going to the zoo later today yeah i'm already nervous about it and, mm -hmm. and whatnot so and we've been there a million times yeah so it, these are things that i just 
travel is not easy for me. If you have, uh, Blick says, if you have alizarin crimson on your palate, does it make Rose matter or will she get over it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Akash says, my mom says tracing is bad for art. What method shall I use to make realistic portraits? Why is tracing bad? Well, you know, uh, your mom is probably trying to, to teach you to learn to draw what you see. And there's nothing wrong with that. I would say draw what you see, draw from just looking at something like we did when we did the uh, the Draw Everything Every Day series. We just, here we go, and you can watch me just draw it. And your proportions aren't going to be perfect and everything isn't going to be perfect, but you're drawing. And that's the practice part of it. But professionals, um, most illustrators will trace it's a time saver. It makes sure that all of your proportions are right. And especially if you're trying to get the likeness, that's what we do. So um, it, it's not cheating in any way, but if you're still learning, then yeah, tracing isn't going to help you learn. So just, just consider that. That's probably what, what your mom is trying to do, is trying to help you. Um, okay. So. Hold on. Blow dryer. The gray-eyed artist, he should definitely write another love letter. Absolutely. I'll tell what? you, there. they made a comment on the thing. Um, Time for some pains gray. I lost my dad about, it'll be three years in May. And the most cherished things I have are letters that he wrote to me. Where it has, in his handwriting and in his signature. I I hope that doesn't sound morbid, but it's they make me smile that I see something that he wrote. I think it's like Blick said, I, I think people appreciate that. And I think it's one, it's a simple thing you can do for somebody um, that they can hold on to as a little memory of you. Um, Kim says, I'm painting some cheetahs to donate to the cheetah conservation funds auction later this spring. Oh, that's great. Um, fast aspect. The first medium Scott ever used was um, pencil colored pencil. Mm -hmm. No pencil. Oh, pencil. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to read you this and then I'm going to read Blick's response because I love it. Annika says, how can I use my art to make a difference? And Blick replied, if you are making art, you are making a difference. These days, every positive act of creativity counts. 1,000% correct. You know what? Blick needs their own channel. Oh, wait, they have their own channel. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see. Here's have you ever considered pinning an FAQ to the top of the chat? Um, no. I mean, everybody's been so nice. It's not like we have to Let's see. give out any warnings or anything like that. Does blow drying ever spread the colors where you don't want them? Yes. Yeah. If, if, if the, there's too much water, it will do that. Um, let's see. Why the blue highlights and not magenta? I think that's a mood thing, right? Well, magenta is a, is a red, and I am giving her dark, you know, dark hair, not red hair. Have you ever tried loops or flare earplugs? Apparently they are really good for neurodiverse folks. I, I looked into them, but honestly, um, you know, like I've tried the you know the, the airpod what do you the, the apple airpod pros whatever mm -hmm. and the noise canceling the noise canceling ones and and anytime i have any in-ear ones all i could do is i you know i hear my own breathing i can hear just you know just my heartbeat and whatnot and it just the over the ear ones just work better for me yeah um blick can't wait to see you try the utrecht um watercolors 
We will be doing that very, very soon. Who will be voicing the next short? Scott will. Oh, no. Um, they're thinking this is the Women's History oh. Month. Yeah, no, we're, we're oh. done with the Women's History mm -hmm. Month uh, videos. This is, I wanted to, uh, we want to make uh, a series of um, maybe some stickers or whatnot. And since I had the five from the Women's History Month, I thought I would do a an Indian woman, uh, a an Asian woman, and a uh, maybe a Pacific Islander woman, and that would bring us to eight. Um, I'm gonna reply to the talented here, and I'm just gonna say I absolutely love it that there are people here from all over the world. It makes me ridiculously happy that um, we're such a diverse group and it really does go to show that art is just it's for everybody doesn't matter what country you're in doesn't matter what religion you are doesn't matter what everything you none of that matters it's just art and we're all here to appreciate it together yeah um, should i try tracing so i can try watercoloring i'm not very good at drawing and i'd like to try watercolor Absolutely. If you want to just try watercolor, you don't want to worry about your drawing. Try tracing. Mm -hmm. Not you know just just if you do, either use a you know a nice hard number two pencil, uh, and just paint over that. Or if you want to try inking, make sure that your uh, your pen is waterproof. But you really don't need to worry about inking. If you just want to just try watercolors, a good number two pencil should be fine. Um. Let's. See. How long do the etcher brushes last? Are they more like Squirrel or Kolinsky? Uh, I don't know either of those, um, but uh, they're they're synthetic and they mm. lasted about six months. They're not with zero cleaning, zero. Yeah, any... Scott does nothing I to just, take care of his brushes. Yeah, I just you know run them through the water, the dirty water, and put them down, and I'm done. But uh, hmm. yeah, I, I've yet to find a paintbrush set that I'm like, these are great. These lasted me a whole year. All I care about is that they hold their point. Yeah, and, and you don't have to clean them. And I, and I don't have to clean them. That's mm -hmm. what I want. I, I want. I want brushes that will, I want cheap brushes that will last forever. <laughs> That's, is that so much to ask? Mr. Breadman would like to draw you and is asking if they can do that. Absolutely. Uh, art profile. I hate it when that happens. They ordered blueberry muffin tea and it, the order got canceled. They must have run out. Yeah, that's what happened to me with Blick and my Canson uh, paper. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> oh, God. Is that a Def Leppard shirt you're wearing? Oh, you guys can see my shirt? Apparently. Yeah. Hysteria. The best album. No comment. Um, how Blow dryer. You... Hold on. Have you tried linseed oil? Oh. The only time I ever had to use linseed oil was when I was doing an oil painting in high school. Maybe that's a Bethany question. Yeah. Um, how do you set up your phone, your camera set up for the lives? How do you set up your camera for the lives? I've been wanting to start lives, but all I have is my phone. Oh, um, I use a phone. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm using my iPhone and... Mm -hmm. uh, that's how I record uh, for the, if you want to go live uh, from your phone, you can do that. That's, you know, pretty straightforward. They, they set that up pretty easily. Um, but if you want to do both, you're going to need another phone. Uh, right now, what I'm doing is I actually have a webcam. It is what you guys are looking at right now. Mm -hmm. And then I'm using my iPhone to record, record mm -hmm. so that way I can edit later. Um, we are on all the socials. 
Um, if you go to the um, top of our YouTube page, there's a link there to all the socials. Um, <laughs> William Draw says, hello guys, I love your art and I don't know how you do it. Is it secret sauce? <laughs> <laughs> It's like no. 50 years of practice. I honestly don't know how to keep a secret, which is why you guys know everything about me. He doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. Um, let's see. I see us all as a big art family who love doing what we do. Yeah. That's Pluviophile. Yep. Super correct. Um, Scott's art just differs in price depending on how much time he has put into it. And you can just... See those? Um, there's our store. Um, you yeah. Can see the different. And there's a video there. on how I price my art too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, does the blow dryer? Yeah. Sometimes the blow dryer does spread the watercolor, but Scott's pretty good about catching it. Um, Rashika, there are um, tips in the art hacks playlist on watercolors, so start there. And that should help you. Um, Blue Jay, what are the first steps to take to find out if you have autism or something else like it? And where can I go? Oh, um, I got my uh, doctor recommended uh, a company that... Your regular general medical Yeah, doctor. my regular doctor. Will, so talk to your regular doctor first. And hopefully they will direct you to where you can get tested. And it's a couple of days of testing, and then it mm -hmm. took like months to yeah. get in, and it took months to find out. And yeah, it takes a long time. Yeah, it does. Blow dryer. So, so how big is that picture? It is, uh, this was a nine by 12. The original page was nine by 12 so is it and four I cut and it half? in half. So it's four and a half by 12. Okay. So let me ask you, do you guys want me to go darker with the skin? Um, good question. So I still have to add purple they, the shadows. They want to know how you know when the painting is dry. When you're blow drying. Oh, uh, you know what? It is no longer shiny. That is how I know. Okay. What is Donna's favorite tea ever? Uh, the Herod Strong Breakfast Tea, which I'm down to my last three boxes and is, are not listed on the website anymore very scary what's the worst when you go to a website you really love and then there's <laughs> the stuff you love isn't there you know what you stop feel betrayed, it don't you stop try buying art supplies from india they're pretty cheap in your country we cannot get our hands on that we also have a very 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 difficult time shipping to india um yes 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 i think there's more yeses than no's on the going darker Yes, go darker, or yes, uh, the skin is. Um, I think it's nice. I think yes, no, 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 yes. Okay, maybe instead of yes or no, maybe say darker or or. Sarah says I'd love to see darker skin. Okay, because I mean it's not hard for me to go darker. It's all on you. India does not have a singular shade. Blow dryer. Darker skin, yes. Darker skin, yes. Darker skin, yes. Okay. Alright, 
right, so first I'm gonna go over it with another pass of Windsor Orange. Okay. Yes, a lot of people want you to do darker skin. Not a problem. Um, Here we go. Scott used charcoals back in college. Um, yeah, I can do a flip through of my tea journal. Let me write that down. Um, I do not like chamomile tea. That is because chamomile mimics a weed that I am allergic to. So, um, yeah, I get, um, I get rather nasal when I drink it. So I don't drink it. I have tried the Berry's Gold Blend. It is too light for me. I like the Black Box. The Master Blend, Pablo, is my favorite um, because Blow it is stronger. Hold up. Marie says, Scott, inches are not measurements we know here. We measure things in Hot Wheels and Barbies. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> I love you, Anne Marie. You're so cute. Marguerite says, if you are still in school, you can go to your counselor and it might not cost depending on where you are. That is correct. Um, a lot of um, a lot of times you can go to a school district if you're in your school district and you can get tested for that. Some yeah. places it takes longer than others, though, to do that. What are the best art supplies you suggest for a beginner? Pencil and paper. What Windsor and Newton watercolors do you recommend for faces? The actual colors themselves. The actual colors themselves mm -hmm. are on my channel and you can get them at Blick. There's links to all of them. And there's videos on how I use them. Um, Chumba says, I, I have a question. When I draw, I seem to add too many colors. I'll see greens on a picture of a face that aren't really there. My drawings can't really seem to confine to a color palette. You know what? There's colors. There's, it sounds like you'll like post-impressionist uh, art because they, they see colors that, that aren't there. And I see a lot of colors. I see greens and blues and purples and skin tones too. So there's yes. nothing wrong with that. You you will want to start to um, limit your palette so that way it's not all, all over the place. But there are artists who use every color in the palette and their work is beloved. So it just depends on what you like. Blow dryer. All right, I want to tell a story. So I remember all of that beautiful layering that I was really so meticulously doing. Yeah. There was the, the yellow, then the dark yellow, then the, mm -hmm. then the pinks, and then the more pinks, and then the purples. It's all gone. All gone because we went with a darker skin tone. The thing is, is that I had put all that time into that, but she needed darker skin tone. And what sometimes we don't do the things that we know that the character that the person or the painting needs because we put so much time into this and we really yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. You got to get past that. You got to get past it and just go, nope. And then I'll just go and I'll redo the layers or I'll figure a different way out. But sometimes you got to erase the thing that you don't, that doesn't work for the piece. So just a, just a heads up that that is what happened. Cause I was like, Oh, I really liked how the lighting was coming along, or the, the skin tones. I liked the way that they were layered in that way. The purples looked really nice, and the golds looked really nice, but you guys are right. The skin tone needed to be a little darker, mm -hmm. and that was what was more important than the amount of work that I put into it. Um. Okay, so... I 
I think you just looked, watched him, um, Mushroom Mistress, um, doing the colors and then completely changing the palette. So Yeah. Um, Blood dryer. Bethany is 100% correct. Um, we do get hate comments occasionally, and we just block them and ignore them because they're not yeah. worth it. It's Not everybody has to agree with you, but also everybody doesn't always have to give their opinion, especially when they're nasty. So we just block them and move on because they're not important. Remember, you get to control... Your channel. Yeah, well, you get to control... Um, what you take in. You don't have to listen yes. to trolls. You don't have to listen to negative comments. There's no yes. law, there's no moral imperative that says that if someone has something nasty to say, you need to sit and listen to it. Nothing. That being said, sometimes it is difficult to not take it in when you hear it from all sides and it's difficult yeah. to avoid it. But he is a hundred. Scott is a hundred percent right. You don't have to put that into your brain. Just remember, you get to control it. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people feel that you know that 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 they have the right to tell you yeah. what they think of you. No, mm -hmm. you can just you can walk away. You yep. can mute them. You can block them. Yeah. Um, opinion on ballpoint pens. Oh, I love them. I did a video on mm -hmm. uh, drawing with them. I think I drew Johnny Depp mm -hmm. as Captain Jack. Yep. I I always loved ballpoint pens. And now I like fountain pens better. Um, do you recommend any watercolors? I'm a new artist and would love some tips. Well, my favorite the ones that I'm using right now are Windsor and Newton. But uh if you if those are not something that uh if they're out of your price range mm -hmm. uh then there are definitely a few others that I have tried and mm -hmm. you'll see them in my uh, art supplies we've tried kind of playlist mm -hmm. there's a grabby set and there's some other ones that are um, definitely cheaper okay I need more purple hold on blood dryer oh I yeah So um, we are going to have to be done in eight minutes. We do so indeed have to be done. I am not going to get this painting finished. Typically, they do take 90 minutes. So typically, we do use the whole time for that. Every once in a while, Scott will go over. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, what I'm going to do is just... I haven't decided what... I think I'm going to go with a red background. And then I'll come up with a pattern or something like that. And Scott, then I'm going to keep go ahead, sorry. working on the uh, the highlights and I'll get all of the other stuff done. But um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll, I guess I'm, let me see if I can at least get the background color in. Um, this is nobody famous. This is just a random person. Um, yes, Barry's tea is the one that, um, that we drink, the black... Uh, master blend the black and I, box and i think it's only fair that i use india ink please don't open that over the painting oh my goodness like that? Alive. you know what i swear i'm gonna smack you <laughs> oi um santa was in the chat i don't know if santa is still in the chat but he was here um let's see the blow dryer is the blow dryer that scott stole from me from upstairs in my thing um where did you get your hat Oh, um, the one that I wear in the videos is, I have no idea, and I'm holding on to it for dear life because I, I can't find one that's exactly like it anymore. Oh, he's tried. 
Yeah. Um, I thought I maybe got it on eBay. Yeah. But, oh, uh, Fluvio File is going to Venice next week. Have you been? If yes, any recommendations like restaurants or great places to visit? Oh, absolutely. We just we went just for the first back. time. Yeah. And, oh, um, my God. There's a great pizza place that I really liked. Mm -hmm. um, have the gelato wherever you go. Definitely yeah, gelato have the was pizza. Good. And eat, sit in a little cafe on one of the canals and eat there. I mean, just pick one. All the food we had was good. Every place we went was beautiful. Go to as many churches and the museums as you can. Yeah, just wander. Just wander, yeah. I mean, it it was just oh, such the experience. Please make the eyes not blue. They're not, they're green. Okay. But if you guys would um, like me to change the color, I will. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I know you guys can't see everything and the, the eyes are going to be pretty small for you. So, but yeah, I picked the <laughs> same green that I did for the dress. Uh, you're, you're killing people with your, when you did that, the mods were like, no, don't do the ink. Um, yeah, he drives me bananas. Have you ever worked with color changing paints? No. Why would I want? Why would I want the colors to change? I have a hard time with not coloring. <laughs> you know, changing paints. <laughs> yeah, let's just <laughs> let's totally mess with Scott. Oh gosh, that's funny. Santa is here. Santa's like, I'm still here. Don't don't forget about me. I'm here. Um, I've been missing you for the past few days. Because your streams are so a part of my routine. I would like oh. to ask if Scott scripts the shorts or wings it. I script them. Oh, he so scripts them. I, however, yeah. wing everything I post. Now, now mind you, uh, like in this case, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing a painting and then I will write the script, mm -hmm. you know, once I'm done. Like I might have the, I might take this video and have it be about, um, how I change the skin tones. And and so, you know, like I will kind of look at it, look back on it and go, okay, what do I want to talk about? If it's something like I'm doing like Music Monday and I'm painting pink or something, then, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll think of what I was thinking of when I painted it and then I'll throw in some uh, music lyrics and, or, or music songs, song, <laughs> song titles. Gail, Gail, Gail. Gail sent a tip. I don't know why, Gail. And says, sending out virtual hugs for anyone who's currently struggling. Scott, the painting is looking beautiful. Oh, thank you. If you guys didn't see, go to my channel. Gail sent us yeah. the most lovely... If you guys like, if you like the unboxing, yeah. you know, Donna, Donna, Gail sent us such a... And Gail is such a talented artist. She did a painting of a red panda for me. And it is... It made me tear up. It is just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. You go So go check it out. She's just... Gail, you're just amazing. Um, let's see. No, I do not have a tea garden. I've thought about it, but I don't have a tea garden. Um, Battle Brooks is here and says, good morning. Hope you're doing well. Sorry, I'm only joining now. Hi, been Battle sick Brooks. for a few days. Oh, I'm sorry you've been sick. Um, <clears throat> any advice on shading hair? When I draw hair, it looks like a solid object instead of flowing. Yeah, there's a couple videos on that. Mm, how is your day going? Uh, so far, so good. This mm. red is not really hitting me though. Mm. There is um, Wonderland. There is a list of all of Scott's favorite art supplies in um, on our website, so you can see what he uses. Is Scott's real name Santa? No. <laughs> Do you prefer TikTok or YouTube? YouTube. Let's see. What are your favorite paint? Okay, so anybody who's asking about Scott's art supplies, go to the website and the supply list is there. There's also a list of all the supplies that we've tried. Um, so you can see that as well. Do you use the same brushes for that ink as you do for the watercolors? If so, does this affect the brush's performance with watercolors? Great question. Um, the answer is yes, I do. And I don't think it does. I it's. I mean, maybe it's it's harder on the brushes and it therefore won't last as long. I don't know. But I, I, I'm really not 
I've only been painting for about 13 years and I've really never put much thought into the paint brushes. Um, so I'm not really an expert on that. Maybe Blick might know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and do you use a flat brush or a round brush? Round. I use flat brushes uh, sometimes when I paint with uh, wash. Um, let's see. Do you ever, did you ever get, we have been to Washington, D.C. It was quite a while ago, but we have been to Washington, D.C. Mm. Oh, Gail is, let's see, why are some comments? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm trying to get to all the comments and I have all the comments on, but yeah, it's, it's going. You guys are chatty today, which I'm not unhappy about. Believe me. Oh, good. RC artist is drawing a red painter for their channel and they're going to tag us. Let's see. I've been insecure about my art for a long time, but through the past few years, I've learned to embrace um, my art style and I've never been happier. Thank you so much. That's Tamaki. Oh, that's great to hear. Let's see. Um, where did you get your mixing palette? I love it. Oh, um, I think I got that one. I don't remember where I got it, but the, I, I don't, I wasn't able to find this one on Blick and Blick, let me know if you guys now carry it, but it's, I think it's called a San Francisco slant palette. I don't know. I remember that. I think it's in the art supply list. Yeah, it's in our art supply list on Amazon, but I'm saying I, I, I don't remember being able to find that this particular one on Blick. Bethany put the art supply list in, so you can check that out. Um, Pastimers Club says, in Japan, broken bowls are repaired with gold and treated as a unique feature, adding character. Say this to yourself whenever you feel bad about a painting. Yeah, I can't remember what that's called, but... Yeah, things are repaired and appreciated for the service that they've done. Um, let's see. Really beautiful work. Sending Thanks. I will add cuts. a stencil and there's probably another hour worth of work that I need to put into this. Um, there'll be some more shading in the hair and course the outlines and everything else and I got to add the highlights to her skin and whatnot but I just wanted to at least get some background though it really didn't come out very evenly yeah um, we're not maybe, still... maybe India ink wasn't the best choice but hey we tried right we're not still posting on Pinterest are we no I haven't posted on Pinterest in a long time um yeah, like, I mean, I don't even know what this is here. And then it's just the, the way that the water kind of just, you start to just, um, I, I learned to accept it as a part of the medium and, and the materials. And, um, and I just kind of let it go. What was the first time you traveled to a destination you dreamed of? Gosh, when we went to London and Paris yeah. back in mm -hmm. 2000. 2001? Yeah, 2000. 2000? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 23 years ago. Blick says, we think most of the time you can use the same brushes for transparent ink and watercolor without consequence. India ink with a shellac component might cause buildup, but denatured alcohol will help. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, and again, you just do that. And now your paintbrush is clean. Um, Ish. several people wanted to know if you were using a photo reference today. No, no. I, and I, what is your spirit animal? I, I don't have a spirit. I think spirit animal is a, an indigenous nations kind of, uh, thing. I, I, I don't think, I don't think it's up to us to have spirit animals. That's not really a, what was your biggest aspiration in life when, back when you were young? <laughs> way be, back when you were young to be uh, the artist on spider-man um, all right sorry we, we have to, to be, cut cut it yeah, uh, early but we've today. got a couple things to do and then we've yep. got to run to the zoo and then yep. you know but um we will see you all on friday we will and i will hopefully post a video on this 
either today or tomorrow. And mm, um, that might have to wait till Saturday. We have some other stuff we have to do. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. But uh, thank you all again for hanging out. Thank you for your patience while we were out of town for, for a few days. Yeah. And we love you all. And, Thanks, um, guys. We will see you on Friday. Everybody have a wonderful Wednesday. And I hope all of you um, who are not well feel better. And um, just take take some time for yourself today. All right. We love you guys.